lot has happened in the last week. I decided to give away $1,000. I totally forgot about the contest. At 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away $1,000. So make sure you hit the bell notification, subscribe, and like. Comment and share in whatever order you guys need. I, I began putting movies on the website. of water and I also saw that you were hiring may I please have an application look I worked at my dad's grocery store I put myself through college at a local pizzeria right next to campus and I can do this and I really need a job Good morning. Are you hungry? I just got done eating dinner with the president. Leave me alone. Come on. Are you crazy, lady? I said, leave me alone. I told my friend Dominic Sinclair what I was up to. He's an editor and producer for CentralValleyTalk.com, which is a website kind of like mine. Hello everybody, welcome to episode 55 of What Are Your Thoughts, and today is Wednesday, July 22nd, 2020. I am Mariah, Sizen. and today we have special guest Dominic St. Clair, and thank you Dominic for being on our show, and uh, Dominic is a filmmaker, and he also works here at Central Valley Talk. First, before I directed, um, I was an actor um, in theater plays. And I've been doing that for like years. And when I got out of high school and went to college, I kept doing it. And then eventually it got roped into um, this series called Hobbits of Mind Season 2, uh, which is a YouTube series that's been on posted on YouTube. And I acted in it. And um, I've been working with this director, young director around my age. And, you know, I've always wanted to direct it. But I never had the the pat or the motivation, the um, you know just never had the passion for it. And when I met her and worked with her, she, like when when I saw her direct and everything, I'm like, dang, like I can do that, uh -huh. you know. And that's when the motivation and the passion came back in into me. And that's when I say, hey man, let's let's make some movies, you know. So. <laughs> You got the stuff? It's right here. I got this lieutenant at the precinct. It's causing nothing but problems, okay? See, he's trying to stop you from selling me this kind of stuff, okay? I need you to take him out. <sighs> yeah, you're just a name on a report. Close. 
what's going on? Hey, your son's over here at the office, man. Hey, go pick her up, man, over here at Main Street. You know where it is. I don't have to tell you again and again and again. I ain't, I don't want to do that, all right? Your son's out here. Fuck it, fuck it. I mean, something could happen to this guy. I mean, come on, man. What if someone breaks in and he gets hurt or something? I don't want no blood on you, okay? You go pick up your son. That's that, all right? Do it. See you later. Yo. Listen. Hello? Hey, your son. Your son's been stabbed multiple times, man. Come over to the hospital and check out your son, man. He might die. Just say your final goodbyes, okay? Man. And thanks to him, now I'm getting interviewed on CentralValleyTalk.com. Thanks, Dom. I began writing my book, which is why I decided to enroll in a 12-week master writing course, which by the way is only $10 right now if you use this code. My friend Shelly and I decided to start Demo Spin TV. I went out to Route 66 and filmed the trailhead teaser. I began editing, directing and producing a movie with my friend Lukvin from Nigeria. Finally finished the work on Political Truth Season 1 Episode 2 with my friend Brian Walker Sr. Hi, this is The Political Truth and I'm Brian Walker Sr. And today we're going to do a recap and get into the Mom Bet case, Charles Sumner, and the different as aspects of the United States political history. And a huge congratulations to my friend Charles D. Clark. He's doing amazing things. Congratulations, bud. Like always, I find myself more excited for what next week has to offer than anything else. Until then, talk soon, guys.